friends now, but we're not really friends two days ago. How did we actually meet? We actually met in Portugal three years ago. Being young definitely means being dumb. At that time, I really wanted to do the real duck dive with a duck in the ocean, but I did not think it through. Nobody wanted to do it with me except this guy. And it did not end up. I don't know what kind of confidence we have because we did not think it through, but I did get a chance to meet Dennis. <laughs> He invited me to go to a remote island to explore and be his filmer. Once he says Summa, I just brought my fly because literally Summa's my dream. If you know who Jay Alvarez is, you know what blue ass water means. And going to this island would fulfill my tiny little dream back then. I don't mind friends from the US. A um, little bit overweight because she probably got a bit too excited for the trip. Huh? Yeah, you can fly directly from Bali to Sumba. Bali is a big size. We have an extra bay. Land Air will charge you surfboard back fee, and I'm bringing a shortboard with me this time. You're nervous. This is the 8 kilograms. 1 kilogram is 101 rupiah. In total, the total amount of my baggage, like a check-in bag and a surfboard bag, was around 185 USD. If you do decide to do the small <laughs> pack life. The airport is super small. Literally, that is the entrance, and this is the baggage area. Small but cute, like you. I didn't know German are this smooth. <laughs> the airport is small enough that you can see the whole thing by just sitting here. Majority of the food are shipped from Bali due to limited resources here. This are our food for the next 10 days. They're not really tourism here. Majority of people who are here are staying in the same or next door resort if they're a foreigner. Those resorts only have limited space as well, that's why they might be on the pricey side. But if you have a friend like me, you get to split the price of one room, which is not that expensive. It's 80 degrees right now, so let's go for a swim. I feel so, so lucky right now. This is insane. Literally the whole thing is the villa. And you can see the buffaloes right there. They even have mosquito spray. DJI, one million worth. A week later, he lost that one million dollar SIM card. Fuck that shit. There's so much stuff to you. I know I say way too many insane because I did not expect any of this coming up to the trip. I never see that many shades of blue before in my whole life. for putting heart in it. <laughs> so much love, yeah? Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Go, Dennis, go. <laughs> Go down. <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck. <laughs> Come on, you have to provide for the family. Come for a ride. During low tide, you get to swim with the horses. You can ask the instructor when's a good time to swim with them. I never thought I could ever do this in my entire life because the last horse I was with, she literally threw me off her back when she's close to the shore. So riding a horse in the water is the most exciting experience I never thought I would have. Like, this is crazy. Most horses, they're just like very wild if it's the first time you ride it. But the fact that they're so chill, they don't know me and like kind of like swimming with you, it's crazy. So yeah. I don't know what billion dollars feels 
like, but if I do have your daughters, that's where you'll find me. What do you do for a living? Uh, I make shelf necklace for a living. The beach here are pretty untouched, so not many people hang out on the beach. So if you are out here, you might get attacked by sand lices without the right protection. Wow, it's so deep. This is crazy. They have perfect shell here. You got one? Yes. So pretty. This is insane that I literally live right at a surf spot. I find so many shell here. Maybe because I didn't drink enough water in the morning. Like, I feel exhausted, highly dehydrated. This is the first time I wish I'm rich. This is the true luxury that I never thought I can experience, and it's kind of crazy. Because sea lice or sand lice might stuck in your bikini if you like me rolling around. I often change my bikinis immediately after a beach session and wash them with soap. Grab this electric bike. I have no idea how to drive it. Jump on! My lady. I want to be a little passenger princess. <laughs> Let's go. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Today we're visiting two traditional Sumbanese village here. You can have a glimpse of what the tribal life is like. Traditional Sumbanese houses have special roofs. The higher the roof, the closer to one ancestors and the gods. The top is for special ceremony and only elders can go there. The middle level is where families sleep and hang out. And the bottom level is for animals like chicken and pigs. If you visit one of these villages, bring cigarettes as a friendly gesture because you are technically entering their space. You might see buffalo everywhere, but they're expensive. Displaying all the horns you have is a way to show off your family's wealth and status. When a boy wants to marry a girl, he needs to save up and offer gifts to the girl's family, and often it's the buffaloes. <laughs> the more educated the girl is, the more buffalo he needs to prepare for the marriage proposal. I only had a bachelor degree, so... What's my prize? Bachelor degree. 100 million. 100 million. <laughs> Good so to worth, know. Worth, worth one buffalo, that's only <laughs> one. is famous for traditional textile, Ika. They spin threads from cotton or silk, then they color them with natural dye. It's 5.30 right now. The sun is about to set, so let's go surfing. The sunset here is a little bit early than Bali, about an hour early. About 6.30, it's pretty dark already. The day does start a bit early. Usually at 5, you already see the sunlight. I'm going to stop talking and just going to show you how amazing the sunset here is. Don't get burned. We do. We go burned. So I'm not burned. Is that how it works? Yeah, when you put there and then it's getting white, you're burned. Why look yellow in front? Oh. Yeah, because you're Asian. <laughs> you're not Asian. It's a pretty luxury place and I really love it. But as a gentleman, I'm sleeping there on my luxury sofa. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at this. Since the ocean is just over there, it's crazy, it's insane how loud it is. I feel like I picked the only moment where it's not that loud, but... This is what Dennis is trying to say. Every morning, you get to wake up to the sound of the ocean, and it's magical. I will forever be grateful to this moment. I forgot to mention, the Wi-Fi here is basically non-existent. <laughs> to the every, moon. <laughs> every morning, he will come here to try to upload one story. I mean, sometimes I walk there. That's my workspace in the middle of the night. 
there usually has the best Wi-Fi. We try to be creative with the cellular service, trying to find the hottest spot on this island. Getting bitten by one million bucks, but at least I uploaded an Instagram story for my fans and friends and family. Make it rain. <laughs> oh, thank you. Please enjoy. You got extra latte. It was hard because he's an influencer, you know, technically he's supposed to post every day, right? I'm a content creator. <laughs> I love it up. Staying here is amazing, but also will finally make you face your biggest fear because there's no distraction here. And we didn't bring books here. Facing just your thoughts every day might get scary. Need help? You sure? This girl is killing her vlog but she's not uploading because she always thinks she has to produce more so please upload see we all want to see your footage yeah this light is so good for your face right now thank you i feel lost why are you lost i don't know in life maybe i am self-cautious about my dream I want to be a filmmaker who can document lives searching for waves in China. But I never thought I would be good enough deep down to tell the stories. Just like Dennis said, he's totally right. I have the footage already. I just need to have the gut to post them. But without sharing the world what my vision is, it will always just be a dream. Life is quite similar to surfing. If you're afraid of falling, you will never get a chance to stand up on the wave. We are going to the waterfall today, and you are coming with us. Off-road action, isn't it? I think we lost a tire. So close. Maybe the <laughs> five minutes. So it take about 45 minutes to get to the waterfall. I never seen a watercolor this blue before. I think officially. I make it to the top 1% because I truly embrace the blue ass water in every format. I found this little space area behind the waterfall looks super cool. <laughs> Damn, it's so slippery climbing up, but that's what's exciting about it, right? The little bit of danger to spice up the game. <laughs> wow, this is so beautiful. And guess what? We found clay. The more down south you go, the roads start to turn into clay. We have no idea what this is made out of, but I assume this is probably the same thing you get from Sephora. <laughs> Imagine we all get a huge allergic reaction after this. I love the clay. <laughs> <laughs> the clay was so cool. Feel your face now? Yeah. Like it's actually like super nice, huh? Okay, well, it was an amazing day. One more look at her, she's such a beauty, and hopefully I get to see you again. Where should we go, sir? I have all the footage for five years traveling. <laughs> but I never really have the gut to post them because I'm too cautious what other people would think of me. But without sharing the world what my vision is, it will always just be a dream.
So anyway, right now we're trying to look for a new housing in Bali. Unfortunately, the person who's behind the lens probably does not want to live with me again because he doesn't want to sleep in the couch anymore. <laughs> for the past 10 days, that's his bed. <laughs> So yeah, now I'm trying to make sure he still loves for me when we go back to Bali. <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> Your first step is like kicking it down. 